Welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, we'll learn about Terraform Depends on Block. We know that Terraform is clever enough to define the dependency of the resources from one resources to other resource type. But there are some scenarios in which you should write the Depends on Block explicitly depends upon what. How do you define your logic? If you don't do that, you would get an error. I'll show you what are those scenarios and how do you use the depends on block in which scenario. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you are watching Be Your Learner. So here I have the so here I have the Terraform code to create a resource group and cre I'm creating two storage accounts, storage account one and storage account two. Both of them are using the same resource group. So these two story accounts will be created under the same resource group. So the sequence of event which I am looking for is first create a resource group and then create the story account in it because this is what the dependency is without the resource group I can't create the story account. But if you look at this code block, these two story account code block, here in this particular story account resource block I am using the same variable of the resource group which has been used here. Whereas here I am using the Terraform resource block output attribute to define my resource group. So what it tells me to get the name of the resource group here in this story account 2 I am going to use the output of this resource group and then use the attribute of that particular output. If you do so Terraform will explicitly uh, Terraform will automatically know that this is the dependency of your resource like in this case a story account has a dependency on the resource group because you are using this output attribute of this resource group whereas in this case we have not specified the dependency so when we are going to run Terraform apply command all three are going to run in parallel it will try to run in parallel but it has a dependency on this attribute block so it will run in sequentially whereas these two will run in parallel and possibly this will give an error that the resource group is does not exist so cannot create the story account. So by defining this kind of attribute in the upcoming resources we will make sure that you are defining the dependency so your code will execute automatically because Terraform will prepare the execution dependency for your program. But if you would like to set up the same kind of uh, attribute for example here then in, and also you would like to define the dependency so you can do that you can use the depends on block and you can specify what is dependent on what for example here in this case story account is dependent on the resource group so if I run the program now it will show the dependency First it will run the resource group and then it will try to run the storage account. You can see that we have the sequence of event resource group created first and then storage account created afterwards. So, and that is completed. This is how you can use the depends on block in your resource block. And it is really important to understand sometime. Let's say another scenario is I have the resource group and at the same time I'm trying to read the resource group so obviously these two execution will run in parallel and if the resource group is not available which in this case as it is trying to create it's not going to be available so reading the resource group will automatically fail so in such cases I should always use the depends on block if I'm trying to read something which is basically depends on some other thing you can always use the depends on block you can also specify the resource ID in the depends on block. For example, let's say if I have a dependency on the a resource group, then I can specify the resource group ID. Then you can use the variable as a dependency to use here in the depends on block. I hope you found this topic useful and you'll be using this in any of your Terraform blog. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks again. See you in the next video.
拜。